Hi everyone, Igor Polanski is here, aka the main cocktail nerd. Love is in the air, and this episode is about perfect Valentine's Day cocktail. Roll the footage. An international day of love, romance and affection celebrated around the world on February 14th is known as St. Valentine's Day. So who was St. Valentine and why did we name celebration of love after him? According to one of the dozens of historical theories, Valentine was a priest who served during the 3rd century in Rome. When Emperor Claudius II decided that single men make better soldiers than those with wives and families, he outlawed marriages of young men. Valentine, realizing the injustice of the decree, defied Claudius and continued to prefer marriages for young lovers in secret. When Valentine's actions were discovered, Claudius ordered... You know it. But anyway, I bet you came here for some great cocktail ideas rather than for history lessons. While browsing the internet, you might have stumbled across various pink, fruity, and bubbly concussions that lack balance and originality. Or in many cases, it's either a perfect drink for her and a perfect drink for him. That, my friend, by default puts us into a frame of stereotypes and sounds a little bit politically incorrect. We're here to celebrate occasion and matter without any gender boundaries and common allocations of likable flavors. Let me help you out. I will show you three of my ultimate and favorite drink ideas that are, from my experience, equally suitable for both parts of the love union. All these drinks combine a versatile and for any occasion tequila with another type of spirit to create a perfect marriage. Seeing tequila on their altar with, let's say, a bourbon, may not sound like a match created in heaven at first look, but I guarantee, once you try these drinks, your heart and the heart of your loved one will start melting once again. All right, here we are. This first drink should get your romantic night started, just like a light aperitif before the main dinner. For that, let me remix an all-time Valentine's Day favorite, the strawberry margarita. This one will require a little bit of home preparation. You will need a hibiscus syrup that is basically a dried hibiscus steeped in warm water and mixed with sweetener. I'll put the exact recipe below. It's very easy to make. You'll need a fennel strawberry salt. I use a spice grinder and pulverize the sea salt, fennel seeds, and freeze-dried strawberries. Those are also found in the local grocery store like Trader Joe's or such. The rest of the ingredients are pretty common. Patron Silver, Cognac or similar type of brandy. Yes, don't be surprised, that's an unusual marriage I was talking about. Then you need lemon juice and a little bit of sparkling wine. Drop freeze-dried strawberries into shaker, add tequila, cognac and smash everything with muddler. Drop in some hibiscus syrup and lemon juice. Gently shake and strain in glass rimmed with fennel strawberry salt topped with sparkling wine. Without a doubt, a symbol of Valentine's Day is Cupid. He's a naked cherub launching arrows of love at unsuspecting lovers. But the Roman god Cupid has his roots in Greek's mythology as a god of love named Eros. According to the Greeks' poets, Eros was a handsome immortal who played with emotions of gods and men using golden arrows to incite love and lead them once to sow aversion. 
Later on, he began to be portrayed as a mischievous, chubby child he'd become on Valentine's cards. And children are associated with two people who are in love. Such a nice story. The name of the second drink I propose you make for your loved one and yourself is quite cheesy and I call it the Nectar of Gods. It basically tastes what it sounds like. Juicy nectarines are mixed with Rocco Reposado, bourbon and honey. The flavor is uplifted with additional lavender bitters. I recommend making a couple of those at a time as it appears that Nectar of Gods to be crushable and quite addicting. What is Valentine's Day for me? Well, this is a special day for me when I got married. It happened in Maui, in Hawaii, almost seven years ago, and we're still happy, united with powers of Valentine, Cupid, Eros, and the rest of the gang powers. My wife and I are both keen on desserts. So this drink I created just for her to share with me while she's washing the dishes because that's the right way to do it. I'm gonna destroy you. In the blender, add three to four peated figs, half of banana, eight ounces of your favorite milk, one ounce of three quarters of simple syrup, and one ounce of each of Patron Añejo tequila and well-aged rum. Blend it with ice for 15 to 20 seconds and pour into something you can share it from. This is the perfect liquid dessert for Valentine's Day, but as you know, Figs are a natural aphrodisiac, and I think it's time for me to tell you that I'll see you in our next Cocktail Nerd Corner.